ESCOM has responded to a call for its power plant cost escalation probe. The power utility asked for documentary evidence to prove corruption in the Modupi and Kosile power projects. Decolonization Foundation founder Mzwanele Mani filed a complaint with the public protector alleging lack of oversight by Treasury, resulting in over 100 billion rand loss to ESCOM. ESCOM says the parastatal is bound by anti-corruption laws to probe any allegation of wrongdoing. The power utility adds that allegations of corruption have been made in the past, but no proof of corruption has been forwarded. All our contracts within ESCOM, whether they are for coal or for the supply of uh, milk within the, the business, all of them are above board. But if there's anyone who has any evidence about uh, maybe any wrongdoing on, on, on our part or someone within ESCOM, obviously they need to inform ESCOM or they can inform the law enforcement agencies. Because in terms of the, the, the laws that govern the, the prevention of, uh, of, of corruption, you need to either uh, inform the police or at least uh, uh, inform the company involved so that they can take remedial action. So far, we haven't uh, seen or heard from anyone about anything in relation to our new build programs. And, uh, but if there's anyone with uh, any information that we may not be aware of, they are welcome to approach the police to lay a charge. Well, generally, big projects uh, such as uh, Midway Picosile, Ingola, and uh, others which are outside of ESCOM, like uh, the How Train, for example, people always make allegations about cost escalations, and they also claim that uh, there are people who are doing certain things which are sort of wrong or essentially uh, co corrupt activities. But we are saying the law is very clear on this matter. In terms of the prevention and combating of corrupt, uh, activities act you just simply go to the police with information so that police can take action against those individuals we could have used that hundred billion to pay for the education would be having fees must fall would could use could have used that to build people's houses infrastructure there is so much the list is endless that uh, there is it would be totally irresponsible for anyone in this country not to do an investigation on this hundred billion so if we don't get uh, uh, an excite, if we don't get a response from anyone, as it were, in this country, to, that does not want this probe, then you must know that that person is corrupt. You know, failure not to uh, deal with this hundred billion is actually an indication of uh, ingrained corruption uh, from anyone that does not want to probe it. The same information that we gave to the public protector is very clear. It's all public information by the way there's no nothing hidden we'll prepare that submission and as of tomorrow uh, ESCOM is going to have that information uh, and will lodge a formal request first thing tomorrow with ESCOM to be able to do the forensic audit we are very happy uh, that uh, ESCOM uh, is willing to look at it subject to being given tangible information we will be giving ESCOM tangible information and we hope that uh, they will uh, implement the forensic audit to get to the bottom of what happened to the 100 billion. And on the ESCOM to get a coal supply saga, Finance Minister Pravin Gordon says Chief Procurement Officer Kenneth Brown was correct in saying that ESCOM failed to cooperate. Godan said a National Treasury's Chief Procurement Officer or Air Brown's assessment of the situation as reflected in a statement by Treasury was exact. He noted that ESCOM supplied the documents demanded by Treasury during the course of the probe only the next day. Speaking in Parliament, Godan said ESCOM took a while to furnish his department with details relating to Tegeta but insisted that there were efforts to resist the probe. The technical defence are put forward a fourth by the Finance Minister on the basis of timing contradicts the arguments put forth by ESCOM leadership. The Treasury would like to categorically state that its efforts have met resistance. Subsequent to that, Minister Brown instructed, to the best of my knowledge, uh, ESCOM to submit the necessary documents. There was no desire on our side to be non-compliant or not to provide information or to hide anything. We have given everything to the Treasury and to the extent that they think that there is more information that is required, we are ready to ESCOM comply. has delivered all the relevant reports and information required by the National Treasury. 
These reports were delivered on Tuesday, the 30th of August, 2016, at midnight. Perhaps, maybe, uh, Treasury thought that uh, we were not quick enough in providing the responses. Parliament ESCOM had clearly stated the reasons behind the delay in submitting the, the required reports. Interestingly, uh, ESCOM says it was the Treasury that insisted on making ESCOM board's approval a requirement, a question that Gordon skirted in the Assembly. In this press statement, uh, as matters stood at that point in time, that's the 29th of August, we make very clear the National Treasury is surprised by media reports of Tegeta this is the Gupta-related company, inverted commerce warning and threatening to interdict the department should it release a report into its investigation of Eskom's coal contracts. Treasury has also noted with concern the statement issued by Eskom on Sunday, 28 August, suggesting that it has been cooperating with the process of reviews of the coal contracts. We have given all information that National Treasury wanted. We have listed the instances and the dates. Then they came back with the 172-page document and stipulating that the answers and the reviews must be approved by board. But we have scheduled board meetings. I mean, our next scheduled board meeting is in September, 21st of September. They were forced, the CEO and his people, to wait for this meeting to happen. They were ready. Then the minister gave instruction that don't wait for the board meeting, submit this to, to Treasury, and it was done.